We're going to build a wall. It's going to be built. All right, it's finally happening. This video will span over a few days or a week. I don't know. We'll see how much work it happens between today. Today's Tuesday. Yesterday I had a meeting with the wall guy. Me and my neighbor are probably going to build the actual gate. And uh, my land guy, uh, Hippie, has been working on the front. And we'll show you the progress as of now for the gate. Okay, I moved the cop car over here, which I need to move it out of the way now. But as you can see here, the fencing is gone. It's wide open now, fencing stacked up over there. So Hippie came and uh, removed all the fencing. And um, we've been trying to discuss, okay, should we add on to these pillars? Or what are we gonna do? They're gonna knock the pillars down, we've decided. They're gonna knock the pillars down. They're gonna come here with a trencher and they're gonna trench all along the edge. We're gonna take the bobcat, whatever. We're gonna scoop all this shit completely off. The, uh, all this is gonna go. All this rocks, dirt, and mulch is just gonna have to be completely removed, put in the dumpster and taken away, and I'm just gonna have to start over. Because there's no way to clean this. And uh, we, we started looking up under here, footings are for these pillars. There was an irrigation soaker line that ran through here to discover it was feeding the trees. Always friends. Can't even have a conversation. This is why I need the brick wall, right? You know, without the trees and the fence, there's just so much more noise, just instantaneously, the wind and everything. So I got to get all this pulled up. They're going to knock down these pillars. That's going to cost a couple grand. So literally talking to block wall guy as we speak, he's been texting me even while I'm filming. We're going to come out. We're going to do chalk lines, mark paint. Thursday, they're coming with equipment to knock down the pillars. So tomorrow he's ordering material or today he's ordering material tomorrow. Thursday, they come knock down the pillars and trench the area and get ready to put the concrete footing in. Friday, they do footing. He said the wall will be there Sunday. It's happening. Knocking down all these pillars. Pulling them right out of the ground, footing and all. Gonna... That's the footing that was poured for each of these. Huge. Had... We had no idea how big the footing was. Look at that. Each of these filled with concrete. Wow. That is a huge. Huge footing for each of these pillars. And, th and they did not separate. They just came right out with each other. Holy crap. I told him, I said, if ever there's a time that a car were to come off the road and whack into them, I want the car to lose. Neighbor told me a story about a car hitting this pillar over here, flew over the fence, landed in his yard. And uh, I said, yeah, if that ever happens, I want my pillar to win. They're trenching this out. It's deep. Junior working out here. And you know, when I was a kid, you know, I used to help my dad, my brothers. They used to do roofing with my dad. They used to carry shingles up top of the roof and they were 10 years old so it used to be yeah we're we're gonna probably be about 25 grand into this wall not including the gate doesn't include the gate the gate's probably gonna be another 10 grand just the motor for the gate is probably four or five thousand bucks we're gonna have to cut into the concrete put the sensors in running power and data lines um yeah so we'll be Probably thirty, forty thousand dollars into this wall, gate, lighting, vegetation, plants. It is day two. They started yesterday with the excavating. Today they are doing cleanup. They're breaking up all the rocks and the pillars and the. Keep for these guys. It's not a hot day. It's nice out, but um, sun is out. I mean, I wouldn't want to be out here. Next month, this would be unbearable. I, I, if I was these guys, like, I would just take off July and August. I'd save up enough money. 
Because there's no way you could do this out here when it's a hundred and fuck. Here we are, now it's Friday. The bricks have arrived. I woke up to just find all these bricks out here. Look at this. Bricks. Oh, I love them already. Fortunately, we're gonna paint them. But these are the split face on one side bricks, right? Which I kind of like this natural color with the black specks, they look great. Um, and then you get the smooth bricks. They look fantastic. It's gonna be great. The uh, plain raw concrete white bricks are the cheapest. And uh, since we plan to paint them, that was the best way to go. But I, honestly, they would look just great if I left them alone. Build that wall, build that wall, build that wall, build that wall. These guys are not messing around. I woke up this morning. This is how far they'd gotten already. They'd already poured the pudding. And they got pretty decent selection of the wall up already. Put them up. These little H pillars I was talking about. And you can see what's going on here is they um, they run this conduit through each of these little H deals here where we're going to have lamp posts at the end of each one. So, you know, you may not be able to tell from here. There's quite a bit of concrete with a lot of aggregate in it. That's pretty deep because we remember how deep that hole was yesterday it was a deep hole so they filled this with a lot it's it's it's, it's lumpy and then they put some fill dirt on top of it and then we're going to come back and do some finishing to the uh the bottom areas uh, and then maybe some decorative rocks all around the edges or some finished concrete around the edges you know you got the asphalt on this side so there's you know, I told them that on the uh, outsides here towards this, where this uh, sidewalk is, we could just put some decorative rock along this area. This is gonna look rough for a while. So areas like right here, I don't know if that's, oh yeah, it's hard. So I don't really want that lumpy piece. I'm gonna break that with a, with a hammer. He wasn't lying. He said that this wall will be up by the end of the day. <clears throat> but that one section over there, I think, is too low, in my opinion. I mean, <clears throat> it's kind of good because it's a, it's about the same height, of, you know, as the apartments. But see, what you got to understand about the apartments <clears throat> is that on the other side here, it goes way down, like two feet. So, like, if somebody was standing there, their head would be right here. You know, they wouldn't. They can't. It's way down, like we're probably two, three feet up, built up, compared to the other side of that wall. So you, they, they can't just see in easily. Unbelievable how much work they got done today. Look at this, fantastic. Just got home, it's like six o'clock on Saturday, and they got a lot more done than I thought they were. They got the sidewall over here put up. These guys, these are, hard-working dudes man this is so cool what they've got done here okay it's sunday morning i just woke up a little bit ago it's like 11 o'clock hey i didn't choose this rock star life it chose me see that the mailbox is missing that means they moved it uh oh uh, this is a tight fit Ooh. look at that i mean what that skill, guys. Look at that. That is, wow, that is perfect. This is gonna be where the gate is. That's some tight fit. They said that it's not caulked, that it's just sitting in there. Which is what I wanted because I need to be, I told them the case never gets damaged. I need to be able to remove it, right? So the idea is that some jackass is going to come through here and try to break in this thing at some point. They're going to open it up and they're going to mess with it. And I said, if that ever happens, I'm going to need to be able to remove this from the wall, buy another one just like it. 
and replace it because it's going to happen. Now the, the mailbox, the one that's behind that wall that can no longer be seen is going to be mounted probably right here, you know, right behind this pillar so it's not sticking out too much. That way our mailman, I, I, I want to make the mailman's life good. I want him to, he'll just pull in, do a little, little U-turn or just pull up and he'll pop the mail in right there. FedEx guy, he's Amazon. They'll be able to put stuff in there. The outside of this wall, fantastic. Yeah, see this mailbox, when they moved it here, they moved it here because obviously people were messing with the mailbox that was on the corner. So they brought it in here. So I just need to pour a little concrete pad or something, put some of these bolts in, mount this. You know, you can't, I can't use that other box as a mailbox because see where it says approved by the postmaster general this is a legal mailbox with a flag you can't just put any kind of box you're not supposed to anyway i mean maybe you get away with it out of the country but you're supposed to have a legal mailbox federally approved they're going to clean all that out and you know this will just be empty space I'm considering what i want to do decoratively with this corner and what i mean here is this area right here that's just empty maybe i'll put a like a i don't know like i was thinking like a large pot with a plant maybe i thought i would love to put a fountain a corner fountain or something you know like one of those little fountain like a little fountain or something but the problem is is that you know damn well homeless people will be over here washing their hair and stuff in it you know what i mean that's the issue this is the reason why california you know nevada places like that the reason they do the block walls is because you basically you have to create your own little world right is this guy coming here oh here oh my dumpster there he comes all right don't knock down my wall Ooh, that was close go slow There's my dumpster. Yeah, so we moved the Scooby van and the checker. He's gonna put it over in this corner. So actually this dumpster wasn't, I didn't order this dumpster, it wasn't for me. He actually was using it to come service this other dumpster and he had his uh, bobcat in it. And I said, hey, how, what do you charge for these dumpsters? He said, they're 400 bucks a week. I said, you know what, just leave it here. He goes, okay. I said, put it over here. We need to get rid of all this trash. So it worked out fortuitously for me. He said, yeah, man, let me dump this dumpster right here. It'll be great for me, perfect. I'll give you an extra couple days since it was unplanned. Pop me 400 bucks, fill it up, when it, and then I'll come get it in, you know, a week. So it's pretty awesome. It worked out for me. Pretty impressive, right? I've been, I mean, it's going to take a couple of dumpsters. And he said he's going to come back. He, he could come back with a grappler and, and they could just load that thing. This guy knows right how to put it in. Look at that. Just enough room. We got to open the doors on it. So there you go. Ultimate dumpsters. There's your number. If you're in Vegas, give them a call. Dude's know this stuff. Who's going to pay for the wall? Me. That's who, that's who's paying for the wall. Oh my gosh. It seems like every time I turn around, I hand this guy a stack of cash. But you know what? Totally worth it. Dude earned his money. Uh, they're coming back tomorrow to do some of the final finish up. And uh, it's gonna get it all, uh, all finished. I mean, it is glorious, absolutely glorious. So fantastic. Wow, what a difference. All right, so I, I believe it's the last day of the wall project. Uh, based on, it, he gave his initial proposal, they started last Wednesday, today is Wednesday, so it's been one week. Um, they So they started with removing the brick pillars, as you saw, disposing of them, getting the footings down, the rebar, laying down the foundation, getting up the wall. There was other adjustments and things that I asked the dude to do where he had to keep you know, he kept adding on to things, little small changes that we did. You know, I had him increase the size and girth 
of the pillars on the edges, you know, filled them with concrete. I wanted that, and that's expensive. Concrete costs money. And they're up there doing it by hand with the buckets, you know, uh, busting their ass. This dude is busting his ass. He's out there cleaning my parking lot right now. And then I had him uh, increase a couple other things, you know. There was a, a few different spots that I wanted, a little bit taller, bigger, whatever, you know. They, they did the neighbor side and everything. All right, let's go have a final look at the finished wall uh, before the, you know, this is obviously the finished masonry. We haven't done the lighting, we haven't done the lamppost, we haven't done the rolling gate and the man gate and the other things that have to be done. But this is the brickwork. There it is, view from the street, glorious. This split face is just, I'm so glad I spent the extra money on that. The, uh, we got a good relationship with our neighbors and they worked with us to let me just raise their wall so we color match their brick, how beautiful that is. <clears throat> and then um, and my side starts with this gray. We're gonna have big lamp posts up there. That's what those those are, as you know. This entryway looks fantastic. And the best part is, no matter where you are, we strategically kind of designed it. I said, look, if you're walking and you can see over the wall, put a brick. So as you're walking, you, you know, as the grade goes down or up. You can't really see over there. You can't. I mean, if you come over here, you can look. But um, for the most part, if you're just walking down the street, you wouldn't know what's going on in there. Like when you see this point here, it looks like you're going to be able to see over it. But then when you get here, it's not. Right? And so I want to do a little bit of decoration with this, this bottom part down here. Maybe some rocks. Now, there used to be bushes here. The apartments cut them out because we kept having trash. People were sleeping in here, we found. We don't have too bad of a problem with graffiti. You can see the other, the other walls. They don't have graffiti on them. So I think, I think it'll be okay. Um, you know, we're probably going to put some nice decorative rock here so this isn't just all nasty. I'm going to get all this cleaned up. And I'd love to put maybe a few succulents or cactus. Problem is, is the wind blows trash and then the trash gets stuck into the cactus. You know, those barrel cactuses are nice, but also I don't want it to be like a, you know, obstacle course for people on bicycles and kids walking by getting stabbed in the leg, you know, dogs. But it is trash, but this is from wind, not necessarily litter. Mailbox. It's, it's nice coming around this back side here. I'm going to just park the cop car here. I'm going to move that over here shortly, actually. And then this back area, there's not much I can do with that. That's just going to be unused space. But very, very happy with it. The dude is busting his balls. He's out here cleaning up, pressure washing my whole parking lot, getting all the dirt up. He did what he said he was going to do in the time he said he was going to do it. The work is quality. I went to his other job sites and saw his other work. You can see this work is fantastic. And if I wanted to pay extra, I mean, he would finish this in concrete and grind it and all that other. I told him I didn't want to do it. So, you know, if you want to spend the money, they'll do all those things. We just decided we're going to, we're going to do decorative rocks through here. This I'm going to concrete. We're going to dig this out a little bit and we're going to put smooth concrete here for this entryway. But other than that, very happy. All right, well, that is, I guess, part one of this wall saga. I will be going back to Dallas, Texas this weekend, and I will be visiting King's Metal. King's Metal has one of their main locations in Dallas, also in LA and other places, one of their main locations. And they sell off the shelf uh, the tracks for the gates, the wheels for the gates, the motors, all the, you know, stuff that you need to build the gate. And that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna bring that stuff back with me. It's more readily available in Dallas. It won't cost me anything to bring it back with me and my trailer, and that's the plan. And then when I get back, we will start the construction of the gates. In the meantime, 
I picked up the uh, the man gate which is a 39 inch by 81 inch steel security door I got it for like less than a hundred bucks off of Facebook marketplace and there it is it was kind of a crusty white I repainted it gloss black and enamel as you can see here it's been baking in the Sun the reason I painted it black was because those pillars are going to be painted black as well and I thought it would blend in with the pillars and um, that's the plan so uh, that's what we're gonna do so even though we have this huge brick wall now people are still like but what about the gate I still don't have a gate but I think even that wall is going to be a deterrent people won't be able to steal and you have to you have to walk inward to get to that you know to get in and i think it's going to be a bit of deterrent and just in other news that i've this was the first of one of these dumpsters this dumpster as i told you was 400 bucks and we're going to need two or three of these damn things so yeah we've been accumulating trash for the last two years and just i'm just like throw it behind the building well it's gotten to be out of control now so Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video on the wall. We've been talking about this wall now for two years and here it is finally happening. And so this gate will be up in another month or less, I hope. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Video Bob.